Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to see how we can create custom doors for GTA using Blender and Solums. First of all, I just want to mention that thanks to Decovenator for doing his research on white on white type and YMAP tags for doors and all other stuff. So I'm just gonna put down the link in the description in case you wanna follow all the Y maps and the wild type flags and all the other stuff. He has a lot of great tutorials on how to create custom stuff and how to modify stuff. So yeah, sure. Make sure to check him out. And heading back to our notes, we are first first of all going to create a regular door and we are going to use this door ydr as our template door let's just copy the door name and we can head over to our rpf explorer once we have our rpf explorer which is going to search the ydr name and this is our door so let's just right click export xml and i'm just going to save it in games games props and doors select folder and now we can open up our blender let's just delete the default materials click on file import code worker xml then we can just import our door now this is our duty door now if we just click on the door and select the move tool we'll notice that the pivot point instead of being at the center of the geometry is at the corner of the geometry now this seems to be very important and when we'll be making the sliding doors we'll notice that this pivot point and if you just zoom in this small bone along with it so these two things will be at the bottom corner so let's just start making our custom door for now click shift plus a select mesh and then just go to cube we can just resize it let's just keep it this much thick increase our height and we can decrease our width now what we can do is just try to move it and over here we can just select our vertex enable snapping we just try to snap it right over here with our GTA door. Once we have snapped it, we can just select our GTA door, go to objects, set origin and click on origin to 3D cursor. Now we have our rotation or at the, or the pivot point at the center and at the corner of the door. So just undo it. We can just click on Ctrl A and apply our transforms. And so, so now all these transforms are saved. We can just make sure that everything is 000, zero, zero over here. And then we can just rename it to something like custom door one. Go to our solums tool, select drawable tool. Let's just create a default shader. Go to shading tab and Select our texture. I'm just gonna use this wood texture. Then we can just go to our create drawable option. Click on create drawable. So now we have a, dra a drawable over here. We can also make our collisions now for our custom door. So what we can do is first of all, let's make sure every bit every pivot point is at the center of the world and at the corner of the door so everything seems to be fine let's just select a door model go to collision tools go to create bounds disable the replace option and click on create bound and here we have our collision so let's just rename it to underscore col so we have our custom door one collision we can select our bound geometry bbh go to our flags preset and apply default flags then we can go to bound poly mesh remove the default material 
and let's just create a new collision material i'm just gonna give it a wood medium and if we and if we hide our model this is our new collision we can just re-enable our model and now what we want to do is just copy paste the default gta settings so if we just expand our gt hierarchy this is our main drawable this is our pose this is our armature and this is a single bone for our door coming back to this this is our collision and this is our drawable important thing to note over here is that the drawable has a armature modifier so we can just go to our drawable select a drawable geometry add the modifier and select armature then we can just select and select the first option now what we can do is just select the drawable model of our custom door drag and drop it in our gta door hierarchy so this is our custom model and this is the pre-existing pre GTA door model so we can just right click and delete it we select it and delete hierarchy so now we only have our GTA drawable model or our custom drawable model in here we can do the same thing for our collision we can just go in our default GTA model right click and delete hierarchy then we can select our collision model and shift click and drag it inside our gt hierarchy so just we do this we do it like this then what we want to do is go to our properties panel go to our solemns and then we can set these values we can copy these values from the default gt door so what we can do is Re-import our door. Go to Code Walker XML. Re-import our door model. Let it be like this for now. So this is our GT model. So let's first rename it to our custom model. So we can just rename it to our custom door underscore one. We can we can delete this drawable model. We don't need this anymore. So, so if we just click on bound box. And if we just go to properties panel, we have we have these properties values. So we can just go to our custom door one, go to our collision, select our bound composite, and we can just copy paste the values. So if we go back to our GTA door, go to bound box, copy the first value, go to our custom door one go to our bound composite and paste the value and we can do this for all the values so let's just copy paste paste it over here this unknown flag paste it over here and we can skip the volume for now we don't need it then we can just Redelete our GT model, and then we have our custom door. If we want to rotate our door, we can do that too. But let's just keep it like that, or we can just rotate it. We don't. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. So we can just select and rotate. Rotate to 180 degrees. Select this, rotate, rotate to 180 degrees. Now control A and make sure to apply our transforms. Select our collision model, control A, apply all transforms. So now let's just make sure everything is at zero. Great. Now we can also rename these things. So our parent name was custom door one. So we can just rename it to custom door one dot scale. Rename the bone to custom door one. 
make sure we have our armature modifier over here and everything seems to be perfect we can just embed our textures for our door so we can just go to drawable tools select create shader and set our textures to embedded and everything seems to be fine we can just make sure we have applied our collision flags and then we can just go to files export old walker xml doors i've created this folder so let me just delete it we can just create a new folder name it to blender export and disable the use parent transform and select the export with bar type export code walker xml now if I just go to the blender export folder this is our model we can just rename the white type properly so let's just rename it to custom door one now we can just import it in our code walker so I have already made my RPF we can just go to custom update x64 DLC packs and here is my custom DLC I'm just gonna drag and drop it over here make sure we have converted our textures to DDS format so let's just do that let's just convert our texture and re-import our model now we have our model let's just see the collision mesh this is our bone and everything seems to be fine now we want to edit our Y type so if we go back to our notes in our Y type we need to use our this flag so we can just go back to our Y type, change the flags value, use the special attributes to 7. So we can just change the special attributes value over here to 7. Let's just fix the y, fix the name. So just copy it and paste. Then we can just save our Y type and exit now we can just stream it so this is my resource stream folder so just select it drag and drop it over here and now we can create our y map so we can just go to code walker enable our toolbar select our door tutorial dlc and enable DLC once our DLC is loaded we can just create a new Y map select our Y map create new entity and paste our door model name let's just delete it and place it on ground over here so we can just go to my map new entity and paste our door name so this is our door you can select a door move it up a little bit go back to our my map and if we go back to our notes we need to use this flag in our my map so if we select our door here we have our y map field so we can just paste these values it will automatically select the appropriate flags now we can just go back to our y map calculate our flags calculate extents file save y map i'm just gonna save it in my stream folder go to tools manifest generator and generate and save manifest now we can just start our server and start our 5m ensure our resource and 
पॉइंट और फाइव एम से हुआ Now we just go to our location where we placed our door. It should be right around here. So this is our door. Let's just test our door, and it works perfectly. We can also test our door collision. So let's just give it our, and collision also works fine. We can test a vehicle collision too. The vehicles on a vehicle. And door collision with vehicles also seems to work perfectly fine. So this is how we can create a normal usual custom door. You can just create our custom shapes with it. Create a different shader. and whatever you want to create with our basic door so we can just instead of making it a rectangular shape we can make it circle or anything else so this one works fine let's head over to making our sliding doors so let's just go to our 5m close our server close our code blocker for now and go back to our notes so there are three types of main sliding doors mainly we have our first garage type door which moves up and down but it has a little bit of curve so when it's about to reach its full height it curves and moves horizontally second type we have our left to right sliding door we have seen it in our pill box and and next is our move up and down in a straight line door so you might have seen it in gabs mrbd the external doors move in a vertical straight line from up to down so we going to also learn how to create that so first of all let's just start with a garage door we're going to use this flag and this special attribute value in y type and this in our y name so first of all let's just import this reference door let's just search the door model name select the door a right click export xml and export you can go back to a blender i'm just going to create a new scene replace all the default import code walker xml doors and this is a sliding door import code walker xml and this is our door as you can see this is our door this is our collision let me just move the hide the collision for now so this is our sliding door and if you look carefully we have our pivot point right over here at the bottom and we also have our bone over here so for sliding doors we have our bone at the corner and for regular usual doors we have our bone at the center so let's start making our sliding door give it a cube we're going to re reshape it similarly just make it a little bit more than oh uh, this much should be fine make it a little bit thinner reduce the height a little bit and it should be fine Now what we can do is enable our vertex, enable snapping tool, enable our move tool, and then we can just snap it to the base. Disable our vertex snap and move it manually for now. So once we are done with moving it manually. we have our bottoms aligned similarly we can just match our vertical or our horizontal so horizontal position is also aligned 
now we can just rename it first rename it to custom slide underscore one let's just create a drawable click on create drawable and let's just give it a shader I'm just gonna give it a default shader click on shading and select a texture I'm just gonna give it a light gold texture it looks a bit awkward but let's say let's just select a new texture now we can give it a white texture or we can also give it a plastic texture let's give it a, a rough texture for now yep there seems to be fine just embed our texture and then we can just create our collision and before creating a collision what we can do is select our object go to set origin and click on origin to 3d cursor select our door again click on Control a and select apply all transforms go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor Control a and location and it doesn't seem to work so let's just delete this as you can see your door has moved back you can just snap it again match it with our bone match it horizontally and it seems to be fine you can just go into wireframe mode and make sure everything is fine uh, seems to be fine yep let's just make sure to set our origin to 3d cursor again Control A, apply all transforms, and now we can just create our drawable again. So just click on create drawable, and this is our drawable, and it seems to be at right location now. So before making a drawable, just make sure to set the 3D cursor. Just make sure to set all the textures to embedded, and now we can create collision. Just go to collision tool, create bounds disable the replace and create bounds you can just rename it to slide underscore call or rename it to something like this we can just we can then just go to our bound geometry bbh select flags and apply flags preset go to our bound poly mesh remove the default create a collision material let's just give it a con concrete just create a collision material and if we just hide our model this is our collision now we can just rotate and match our position so we can just rotate to minus 180 Control A and apply rotation. Select our door, rotate it to minus 180. Control A and apply rotation. Once this much is done, we can just follow the same steps again. Let's just rename the door first. So we can just custom slide one. This is our main door name. Copy the name. Rename the scale. So custom door one dot scale. Rename the bone to. You can just put the same name over here. Now coming back to our bound box. Select right click and delete hierarchy. And now we can just select our collision. Select and drag and drop. Make sure to shift drag and drop. 
and this is our GTA model. Since it has a armature modifier, we can also select our door. This is our door geometry. Go to modifiers panel, add modifier, armature, and we can just select our custom slide one armature. Now, since we have our same property, we can just select our drawable model from here shift click and drag over here we can delete this and we can delete our default GTA door so just select the drawable model right click and delete hierarchy now what we want to do is match our collision flags so over here if you go to solems we have some properties over here we can just re-import our GTA door slide door import go to bound box and we can just copy these values again so select our collision copy the first value go back to a gt door go back to bound box copy the second value and we can just repeat the same steps again so this is a third value is the third value over here is the unknown flag over here and we can skip the volume for now select the GT door hierarchy and delete now we have our custom slide door let's just make sure we have done everything properly we have embedded our textures we have created an armature modifier we have our collision geometry VVH we have our collision flags and we have renamed everything properly now we can just go to files export code walker xml go to doors disable the use parent transform button and select export with y type export xml and if we go back to a blender export folder this is our door we have exported it at the wrong place so let's just delete it go back to blender and re-export again go blender export folder and here we can export it and here is the sliding door let's just rename our y type custom slide one select it make sure to convert the textures before so we can just go to our converter tool select our texture and convert now we can just select our custom slide dot ydr and custom slide dot y type go to our Go to our add, uh, go to our add-on RPF, select it and drag and drop over here. Now, if we look at our notes for our first type garage door, we can just select our flags, open our custom slide dot y type, change the flags over here, copy the special attributes value, paste the special attributes value over here. Now we can just change the name tag over here and save. Then we can just export it in our stream folder. So just select our slide and drag and drop over here. Now we can just launch our code walker and place our sliding door. Click on show tools. Wait for it to load. Select our door tutorial, enable DLC. Now we can just open our older Y map. So just select open files. This was our Y map. And if you just select the entity and click go to. So this was our first door. 
similarly we can just click on buy map click on add new entity and paste our second door name which was custom slide one we can just paste it this is our second door let's just move it right over here since it has a proximity so we can just place it right over here and it seems to have flipped faces never mind we can hopefully work with it we can fix the flipped faces later let's see if it'll, if it'll cause issue we'll just change it and for our y map we can use this flag so copy the flag paste it over here go back to our y map calculate our flags calculate extents files save y map Go to tools, manifest generator, generate and save. Replace the YMF. Now we can test out our sliding door. Let's just hope the flipped faces don't cause any issue. We just enable our door and let's just get into our server. I'm not sure why the faces are flipped because it seems to be fine in blender let's just uh, let's just oops it's actually not fine we have dark we have our flipped faces over here yeah we can change the flipped faces let's just see what happens in GTA in the game we can just teleport over here and it should be right over here so as you can see the door works absolutely fine we can just fix our flipped faces and it will work absolutely fine so if we go close to it the door opens up and if we go far back away the door closes again we can just test our collision but the faces are flipped so it will work only on the first side yeah if we just flip out our faces and fix the faces it will work fine so our first orientation or the first sliding door also works Let's just quit it. Close our server. And we'll just fix it some other day. We can just create our new general and create a new blend file. Now we can just delete it. And if we actually don't want to create a new model, we can just use our old model. We can just file import select our first model which was custom slide one import the door and let's just fix our play and let's just fix our flipped faces this time select all the faces alt n and flip now select our drawable faces Go to Alt N. It seems to be fine though. Okay, so we have flipped our drawable faces. Now we to now we need to flip our collision faces. So just select our so just select all faces. Alt N and flip. Now we have our faces fixed. Now we simply want to just rename our door. So we don't actually have to change anything in our door. We can just change some of the flags and it will work as new door. So we can just change our bone names, our scale name and our main name. And we can just re-export the door. Export code walker XML. And let's just 
exported blender export disable use parent transform and check on export with y type click on export code worker xml go back to our blender export rename our y type name and paste now we can just now we can just select our doors go to our rpf explorer and drag and drop now if you go back to our second we have our left to right so the door moves from left to right when a player comes closer to the door so we can just open our y type so this is our second door which will be left to right open our y type copy the flags paste the flags over here so change 32 to this new value copy the attributes value change it to 8 and we can just fix our name tag over here then just save close it select it and we can drag and drop it on our stream folder or we can just restart our code worker select show toolbar enable our DLC and let's just open our ymap file so this is our ymap go to and this was our garage first sliding door we can create a new go to ymap new entity and we can create our second door so custom slide underscore 2 as you can see this has proper faces we just select it keep it over here move it down a little bit and keep it right over here now we can just copy the ymap flags go to code walker go to flags field and paste go back to our ymap calculate all flags calculate extents and save ymap go to tools manifest generator generate and save now we can just start our server again open 5m and ensure our resource Join our server Teleport to our location where we placed our doors And it should be right over here So this is our new left to right door And if you just go closer to it, you see that it moves from left to right And if you move away from it, it closes back away and this was a garage door we move close it moves upwards we go away it closes back again so we just created our one door which was garage door and then we can just change the values of the flags and the special attributes and it works as a new sliding door which moves from left to right so we don't need to remodel our doors every time we can just change our flag values and we have our new door let's just test our collision it should work fine go to weapons give all weapons and it works fine close and it opens from both from both the sides Similarly, we can just quit out and create our third type, which is move move up and down in a straight line. So it's similar to the gaps MRPD doors, the external doors, which are rods which move from up to down. So simply we can just change our flags in this also and we'll have our new door. So let's just 
create a new blend file delete everything files import code worker xml blender export select our last door the custom slide 2 import it we can just rename it to let's say custom slide underscore 3 change the scale name to custom slide underscore 3 change the bone name and we are done with it we can just re-export our collision now or the we can just re-export our door now just export make sure put files export code worker xml render export disable use parent transform check the export with wire type and select export code worker xml now we have our third door rename the wire type just copy the name and set it to custom slide underscore 3 copy it in our code worker rpf explorer and let's just edit the flags so in our notes the wire type flag should be this edit our wire type paste our flags paste our special attributes value and paste our ymap flags which we'll use later so we can just change the name tag and save so we changed our flags and changed our special attributes now we can just open our stream folder drag and drop our custom slide 3 or also restart our code worker to toolbar and just wait for its loading time select our dlc enable dlc let's just open our ymap file go to our custom slide 3 or 2 and we can just create our new new entity and we can just create our custom slide underscore 3 so we can just put it right over here this should be fine yep and now check our notes and by map we can use this flag so let's just paste the flags go to ymap calculate all flags calculate extents file save the ymap go to tools manifest generator generate and save ymf save it and replace again we can just start our server now start our 5m ensure our resource and load into our server Let's just teleport to our location. And here is our third door. And if we just go close to it, it should move up. As you can see, it moves up. You can just cross it, move it away, and it should come back as you can see it comes back down if we go close to it again it opens up again you can go away and it will close back again wait for a bit it takes some random time sometimes it takes very long let's just go close to it again and go back away Let's see how long it takes. Until then, we can test our weapon collision.
as you can see it was stuck and now it comes back down we go back close again it moves up anyways that's it for this tutorial hopefully you find it useful and now it comes back wow so here we covered three types of doors for sliding and a single normal door hopefully you find it helpful in making custom doors for your future projects and i'll see you next time